Hier wie die Gärten. Oh, scheiße. Ups. Looks like I pressed the wrong button. I'm filming instead. Hey, Jandies. How's everything? Yeah. Nice to see you eating. Hey, Winnie. So there are the Chandis. My two wonderful companions. Winged companions. Flying companions. Screaming companions. And tomorrow I'm going to put them take them to the um, to the place where Chendi came from. It's a breeder in Münstertal because we're going away for 10 days to Forolio and that's probably the best place they can be because they're among their own kind and like I said Chendi comes from there so she'll be comfortable there. Chendi this is the blonde one I was kind of worried about her because two days ago she was limping in the morning and uh, yesterday she was limping a little less but I thought that I saw some a discoloration on, the, um, on her bad foot and couldn't really get a good, good look at it but today she was limping a lot less and almost normal so I guess the tendency is uh to healing whatever it was that she that she that she did you know maybe a bad landing or caught her foot somewhere or who knows what they all what they do when i'm not looking and um oh, there they are it's turning out to be a sunny day after a bit of rain in the morning and things are a little bit stressy because uh, getting prepared for this trip which is not such a big trip but still you know 10 days and um, and then preparing for Brigitte's sister's birthday, Iris, who's turned 50, and we wanted to do a song for her, but when we, when we tried practicing for it, rehearsing for it, we realized that we were not on the same lay, wavelength about a lot of things and about most things, and then arguments and discussions and no end of it, and tears and so on and that was a very unpleasant experience so it's a bit stressy and you know I got to the point where I wasn't even sure I wanted to I wanted to play anything at all alone or with somebody but especially not with Brigitte who seems to have a very narrow-minded idea of what it is to play music with the accent on playing you know I play music you know I, I, I we, we got to the rehearsal I had been in the in the swimming pool about a half hour before so my hands were really cold and then uh, I had to deal with a guitar I didn't know and I didn't realize how uh, familiar my guitar is and that I can orient myself just by looking at the guitar uh, and when I have a an unknown guitar in front of me I'm not sure where the notes are anyway my contribution was fairly amateurish but I would have warmed up eventually had a had Brigitte had had she had the patience to deal with it but she's used to singing in a choir with 50 other people so she's never really alone and there's always somebody telling them what to do so you know all they can do is uh, do it or 
you know, maybe complain or protest or whatever. So it didn't go, didn't go over very well. But uh, Jeremy he was, he's the, uh, Iris's son. I don't know how old is he, like maybe 20, 19 or 20. And he's a really good guitarist, uh, flamenco. And uh, let's call it a serious musician in comparison to me, who's really an, an amateur. Um, you know, I'm like a therapeutic musician. <laughs> That's it. It's like music therapy, like calms the nerves and gives the emotions an, an outlet. And also, you know, uh, this thing with the fingers and not really being able to follow everything that they're doing, but trying to pick it up as you go, you know, try to register, try to perceive what, what you're doing and what it sounds like and especially what it feels like. So that's kind of my attitude. And many years, you know, I uh, smoked a joint every once in a while and the first thing I always wanted to do after smoking a joint was to play some music. So uh, this is not necessarily a help, but it's not a hindrance either. And it puts me in contact with my sensitivity. And then I really get into the, into the music and who knows, maybe this is not the kind of thing that people would want to listen to, but there's so much stuff in the radio, I don't understand how people can listen to it just because it's done by professionals in professional studios and professionally marketed and, and so on. So inadvertently, here I am giving today's talk in the kitchen while the birds eat something. It's 20 past 3. This is a normal feeding time for them. Usually, I'm, I often I eat at this time and they come and keep me company. It's really wonderful living with birds who have this ability to, you know, like um, they fly, which means they just do something that none of us can really do as as easily as they do it and as gracefully as they do it and i just love love it that they have the freedom of flying from one room to the next not being cooped up in a cage not you know you not becoming neurotic but just having their little satisfactions and dissatisfactions Uh, and I'm taking a break from from the lab developing or printing, making prints of pictures, black and white, that I took in uh, Jera, in Val Calneja, that is, in the Tessin, uh, in 1990, 91, 92, 93, and this means contact with earlier times and the people of, of those times. So I'm just printing the pictures from which I'll make a selection to make bigger prints, to work on them a little bit, you know, to make it more interesting than just, you know, a shot, a nice shot, a nice picture, nice composition interesting whatever I like the the material the medium to be interesting to to come into the picture and not just you know slice of reality yeah Chendi I realize I'm saying you know a lot this surprises even me Maybe we take a little walk through the apartment. Here's the, um, the rest of the feeding trough on the table. They like cucumber apparently and I'm very glad when they eat any kind of vegetables. 
these are the strawberries that are waiting for me and uh, here's the blanket on the floor that I would like to put back up on the chair okay uh, I can't zoom out with this camera and you see the kitchen a little bit the hot plate on which I've been cooking everything for the last 20 years I don't have a stove or oven here's the kitchen sink the garden and the branch that the chendis uh, fly to and like to sit on a long time Winnie has moved to another floor hops onto the table to check it out yeah Winnie whereas Chendi will probably make her way down as well uh, there's her trick she does she's really good at this and yeah, she's doing better the other day she had a harder time Good. Yeah, strangely enough, since Tuesday, like two days ago, kind of got into a funk. I'm not sure if it was the weather or going to Freiburg and meeting these Australian people who were supposed to come and stay with us, you know, the daughter and ex-wife of Rainer Taini. I mentioned him in another, in my previous video, the guy who wrote about anxiety and who lived in Australia, was like a therapist, did a lot with primal therapy. Anyway, he died and his wife or his daughter actually was born in Freiburg but 